Hobbies are definitely something that everybody should have some of. This is, of course, because if you do not have hobbies, you are likely to go completely insane due to not ever having any fun in your life. And nobody wants that. Right? Right? Yeah. Good. Hobbies are really just good fun. We all need breaks from our schoolwork, normal adult person work, whatever work you gotta do. Hobby of mine, I probably share with a lot of you is playing video games. I don't say this to be rude, but you're inside watching a YouTube video. So I think it's pretty fair to say you spend your time doing other indoor activities. Now, I personally am a Nintendo guy. My first console was the Wii, and I later upgraded everybody's favorite piece of crap, the Wii U. Which I then ended up selling so I could buy a PS4. I actually have all the consoles from this generation, with my personal favorite being the Switch. I just enjoy being able to take my console games with me wherever I go, but still being able to hook them up to my TV with the dock. I've had all the handhelds since the original DS model, and I've recently bought a GBASP along with Metroid games that came on the system. I love Nintendo franchises like Smash, Mario, Zelda, Pokemon, and just about everything else. But recently I've started playing more indie games, you know, Shovel Knight, Hollow Knight, Owlboy, and Celeste, the best game ever to exist, and if you know you haven't played it, what's wrong with you? <sighs> along with playing video games, I've also recently begun to enjoy collecting them. My collection isn't really huge or anything, but I'm happy with what I have. Probably the biggest standout in my collection being my limited run game, Celeste Collector's Edition. Fun fact, this is my favorite game ever. Buy it, play it now. <clears throat> One hobby I've picked up and kind of dropped since, but still do it sometimes when I am bored and have the proper amount of time and the proper amount of space is dancing. I honestly love all dancing. I was that one kid in P.E. who was always having an absolute blast during our dancing unit while everybody else gave me a funny look. I don't know why, but just moving my body to the rhythm of music with cool looking moves has always just been super fun. My favorite types are probably break and swing. They've just always been the most enjoyable. Swing dancing not only gives me an excuse to listen to some of my favorite music, like Rock and Robin or something along those lines, but I also love the intricate moves you get to pull off with your partner. Oh, that was gross. I like breakdancing partially just because of how freaking cool it looks, but I also do love the footwork aspect of it. When I was in, I think, fifth grade? Yeah, I was fifth or sixth grade, I think. I learned how to play guitar, just like every other white boy in existence. My first guitar was this crappy little baby-sized electric guitar, which is not very easy to play now, seeing as how I've grown a solid two feet at the least since buying it. Because of this, I had to start borrowing my oldest sister's acoustic guitar, which, at this point, is kinda mine. She says that it's still hers, and I'll obviously give it back if she wants it, but she's in college, and I really don't see her taking it anytime soon. So at least for now, it's mine. And there's my dad's guitar. This thing is actually pretty expensive. It is a classic Les Paul, which isn't the rarest guitar in the world, but I mean, it ain't common. Although I keep it in my room and I use it way more than my dad ever does, I know that it is very much more his guitar than it is mine. But hey, who knows, maybe I'll get it in his will. But you know, that's not really something I'm looking forward to. Dad, if you're watching this, I love you, I don't want you to die just so I can have your guitar. But as much as I love these hobbies, I don't really do them every day. Like I said, I don't really have the space or time to practice dancing all that often. And I'm not quite passionate enough about music to constantly want to learn how to play new songs. But the one hobby I doubt I'll really ever lose interest in is drawing an animation. You know, seeing as how I want to make a living out of it on YouTube and everything, I don't think I'm allowed to lose interest in it. But even if I wasn't making a living, I can like still find so much fun in just doodling. And I hope that everyone watching this video can find that type of fun in something. Hello, welcome to the end card. I'm not sponsored by anyone, who would have thought, because I um, am a tiny channel. But even with that, if you're watching this, I hope you're having the best time that you can with everything that's been happening in this world. Please stay safe. Thank you for watching. Bye.